that. I told you not watch your Miriam Peba. Dr. Zhang is ready to see you now. Hello, Miriam. How have you been? Not too good, actually, Dr. Shia. My back has been killing me lately. Hmm. Do you carry anything heavy on a daily basis? Um... carry anything heavy on a daily basis? I do actually. Um, my backpack. I see. But I don't understand why that's a problem. I've been doing this for a while. Why is it affecting me now? People don't know about the dangers of a heavy backpack, but I think we should start with the spine first. Actually, I have the perfect video to show you. Let's watch it together. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the spine. The normal spine is made up of three main segments. If you look at it from top to bottom, there are the cervical spine, the thoracic spine, and the lumbar spine. These parts form a slight curve, which helps us to evenly distribute weight and withstand all kinds of stress. The curve works like a coiled spring to absorb shock, maintain balance, and allow for a range of motions throughout the spinal column. The S-shaped curve is supported by two muscle groups, flexors and extensors. Flexor muscles, like the name implies, allow us to flex or bend forward and are important in lifting. Extensor muscles are located in our back and hold up our spine, which helps us to stand up straight. When looking at heavy loads, such as backpacks, the heavier they are, the more harmful they can be. But it's also important to make note of the usage time, the type of backpack, and the user's age as well. But what do heavy backpacks really do to you? As a backpack's weight increases, the muscles are strained because the backpack shifts the body's center of gravity backwards. To keep the body balanced, the flexor muscles are overworked by pulling the ribs and pelvis. This causes posture issues such as leaning forward with slouched shoulders. Long-term effects include a strained neck and shoulders, which can cause headaches. Symptoms like back pain, muscle spasms, and the reduced ability to breathe are also common. On top of that, there's also a chance of spinal damage and scoliosis. Scoliosis is when the natural S-curve of the spine is shifted toward one side more than the other. Mild scoliosis may not have any obvious symptoms, while severe scoliosis can affect a person's breathing. Overall, your spine is precious and putting all your textbooks in your bag is not worth the harm. If you're facing problems, please make sure to consult your physician. Thanks for watching. Please also make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button if you want more. Mm. Check to see what's up with your spine. I think we'll have to run some x-ray tests. X-rays help us to see if the spine has any abnormal alignment or an EMG to help us look at the muscles too. But you don't have to worry. I think you just have acute uh, back pain. Okay, but um, what can I do about my backpack? Good thing you asked. I have some tips for you actually. First things first, you should never carry more than 15% of your body weight. To reduce strain, place the heaviest items closest to your back. Always use both straps. Wide straps are best because thin straps can cut into your circulation. Make sure the backpack doesn't sit any lower than the hollow of your lower back. Lastly, try using digital textbooks. Wait, Mariam, you forgot your textbook! It's 2019, Mom. I will leave you ebooks.